Hello everyone with your CID TV news update this Thursday. I'm Donna Bush. President of the University College of the Cayman Islands, Mr. Roy Bodden, tells us all about a new agreement between UCCI and Penn State University, one that he says will benefit students greatly. We have long discussed the idea of offering what we call MOOCs, Massive Open Online Courses. And so this is our first venture into that. It will enable our students to take courses not offered at the University College, either because those courses were canceled by the University because of low enrollment, or in some cases, because they are courses in disciplines that we don't offer. So they are of a great help to us, particularly to students who may be graduating and maybe one or two credits short of the required number of credits for graduation at a time when these courses are not offered at UCC. If we had to run courses with two or three students, it would be hugely unprofitable for the University College. Now if we have two or three students needing a particular course, especially an elective course, they can have access to it from the Penn State University at no loss to the University College. Mr. Bodden also talked about his goals for the University College. Because I want to build a University College which is internationally competitive, not only in the sense of, 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 of the grades that our students get, but also in terms of the availability of offerings. And quite naturally, if we don't have the facilities and the scope for offering them physically, at UCCI. I want to make arrangements to have our students access them to other universities either through online methods or through a method which again we are increasingly becoming involved in study abroad programs whether that be for a semester or whether it be for the full academic year so that Caymanian students studying at the University College of the Cayman Islands are not in any way disadvantaged, especially at the baccalaureate level and associate level. And now for a story about the on-air anniversary celebrations of 13 years for the Radio Cayman show Youth Flex. Creator and producer James Miles from Government's Youth Services Unit tells us that in the beginning, the show was started for and by young people to get information out. Youth Flex has since transformed into a show about current affairs, pressing national issues and topics of interest to its young hosts. On the 13th anniversary on Wednesday, there was cake and a celebration looking back 13 years. Youth Flex airs every Wednesday from 4 to 5 p.m. on Radio Cayman, and it includes young people from schools across the island. Next week, current hosts will uh, celebrate another milestone with the 525th show. So far, 90 young people from ages 15 and older have been a part of the show in 13 years. Well, if you missed today's CIG TV news update, as always, you can get the details on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And we invite you to tune into Radio Caymans for the record and talk today's shows. That's weekdays and week mornings. As always, I'm Donna Bush, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful evening, and hoping to see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now. <laughs>